Hello everyone, welcome back to Creative Crafting. We have another St. Patrick's Day video for you today. Um, I am going to actually be showcasing um, one of my sponsors for my blog hop, um, Pink by Design. Um, I'm going to use Luck of the Irish stamp set right here. This stamp set is awesome. The sentiments on this are just great. I this is my favorite one right here. It says, top of the morning, because my youngest daughter always tells my oldest daughter, top of the morning to you, just to drive her nuts. So, yeah. So, we're going to go ahead and get started today. Um, I am going to be using a larger card today. Um, this is a, I believe it's a 6 by 7 card. Let me just double check that. It is 6.5 by, I think maybe, yeah, by 5. 6.5 by 5. Um, I bought these pre-made a long time ago. For, I actually bought it for the envelopes, but I decided I had them, so I might as well start using them. So I figured I would do that, and it kind of matched my color scheme today, so that's what we're going to go with. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, um, I found this paper in my stash. Um, normally, I don't like purple very much, but I just happen to buy this because I like green. So I got this kit right here at um actually at big lots i think it was like five dollars had um stickers and some punch outs and chipboard punch outs that aren't colored well the greens actually fit what i wanted to do for st patrick's day so i went ahead and pulled it out so let's get started i'm going to use this um as one of my layering pieces and i'm going to lay this on top and actually what i'm actually going to be doing a second video of another card where I actually did that, I did the opposite, where I put the lighter on the bottom and then the darker on the top. So let's go ahead and get this put down. I'm just going to use my ATG gun. Oops. Let's go ahead and get this centered as best as we can here. All right, and this is going to be for two cards. That's why it's so large. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my paper trimmer and trim it in half. Go ahead and this is actually obviously 12. So we're going to trim it at, let me just double check. I'm going to trim it at six and then trim accordingly after that. Just cut it direct in half. All right. So now we've got two pieces. And don't worry about this part if it doesn't look even with the other part because I'm going to be putting some ribbon down there. So that will be fine. Um, this part is, I think I said five. Yep, five inches. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this down to five inches. All right. Um, got the paper all trimmed down. I'm going to go ahead and use a Martha Stewart border punch for the bottom here. See if I can get this right. I always usually start in the center. That seems to work okay for me. And then I just line it up. Okay. And then make sure you can see what I'm doing. And then we'll line that side up. I, I love this border punch. This one is actually one of my favorite. I love the lacy scallops. All right, oops. Make sure they don't move on me. All right. And then just do this little tiny piece right here. It didn't get all the way to the end, so just do that like that. And it did it fine. And there's our pretty border punch. And I'm going to actually put some ribbon on that I also had in my stash. 
this is what I found. This pretty kind of lime colored. Yeah, so that's what we're going to use for this. I'm just going to go ahead and put it across right at the bottom like that. And I'm going to tape it. I got this new tape dispenser thing. I don't know where it went now. But yeah, it didn't work out very good for me. So I'll have to keep working with it. All right, I'm just going to tape this down here. Okay, get another piece of tape. All right. Nope, it's not all the way down to the bottom. But that's no problem. This is the back of the card. So I am not worried about that at all. And there we go. Perfect. Not that it has to be perfect. It's paper crafting, so can't always get everything exactly the way we want, but close. All right, I'm going to go ahead and trim this. So yeah, I figured since I found this paper, I would, it's 12 inches, I can probably get four cards out of it. So that's what I'm going to do. And then with the giveaways, everyone will get one of the cards. If you win the giveaway, you'll get a card with it. All right. Okay, there we go. There's that. I'm going to go ahead and attach it to the front of my card. I'm going to ink a little bit first, I think. Do a little bit of inking on the actual card base here. It is St. Patrick's Day, so I want to stay with the green thing. And I'm just using one of the Ink Essential blenders and some Tim Holtz Distress Ink. It's the Shabby Shutters. All right, we are almost done with the inking. a mess at first but once you get your paper adhered down it'll, it'll be fine all right let's go ahead and get this put down I'm just gonna tape over this ATG put ATG over the ribbon so it'll hopefully stay down I normally don't adhere my ribbon down in the front um, I probably should but I just don't. I will work on that. All right, and I'm going to try to get this as centered as possible. Okay. All right, we got that down. And then I'm going to show you the image that I put together from a Cricut cartridge to put on the front of this card. He is super glittered up. He's got glitter everywhere. And I'm going to put him on the front of my card right here and put my sentiment right there. I'm going to pop him up, though. Let's go ahead and get him popped up. All right. I love pop dots. My nine-year-old Caitlin loves pop dots, too. She puts them on everything. She is a pretty good little scrapbooker already. So I finally got one to scrapbook with me. My other daughters, they didn't want no, abs, oops, sorry, absolutely nothing to do with it. Oh well, at least one does. All right, that's that and that. Okay, so I'm going to adhere our little guy down here. All right, I'm just get them all. I think I'm gonna use two small little pop dots for his feet, just to make sure that he stays down. Yeah, I went a little overboard with the glitter with this guy, but I thought St. Patrick's Day is just one of those holidays that that glitter is good. Lots and lots and lots of glitter. It's my kind of holiday, that's for sure. And it's funny because I'm not real flashy, but I love, I just love my glitter. All 
All right, there's one. Oh, that took a minute, didn't it? Oops, get that off my glitter. Yeah, I don't know. I probably won't make this guy on the rest of the cards just because he's so... Okay, yeah, there it was. See, on the back of my... Stuck to the back of my scissors. All right, let's put his other foot down. Put his foot down. There you go. Okay, and this is what we have so far. Yeah, glitter's getting everywhere. That's all right. Okay, so like I said, we're going to use um, our Pink by Design stamp set. This is called Luck of the Irish. Um, I think I'm going to use, hmm, how about just Happy St. Patrick's Day, I think. I think that one is perfect for this. All right, and with Pink by Design stamps, they stamp beautifully the first time. You don't have to worry about what kind of ink you're going to use. I just use regular Memento ink, and they stamp beautifully every time. So um, I will put her link down at the bottom of this video so you can go over there and check out her stamp. She's got a ton of stamps, background stamps. She's even got um, SVG files now. So, yeah, she's she's got a lot of stuff, and she is so super sweet. Her name is Sarah. She is so, so nice. She really is. She's one of those people that she's super nice on on her videos, and that's how she, ooh, yeah, and that's how she is in person. So, yeah, she's very nice. So, yeah, I just dropped the pad on my hand. Let's go ahead and just Eat this stamp up like that. Like I said, you don't have to really do a lot for her stamps to get them to stamp really, really nicely. Okay. All right. And again, I'm using my Martha Stewart stamp press here. So I'm going to put it right over here and just stamp it. Just get a good impression there. And that's it. And look how beautifully that stamped. Perfect. And it stamps like that every time, like I said before. Just really, really nice stamps. I use her, um, she has this other set that I use all the time. Um, it's, I'll get and show it to you. It's this one. It's simply everything, and it really has just about every sentiment you could want. This is a really good starting one of hers. I use this, it's your birthday one right here all the time. Um, yeah, so it's great. All right, so that is our card. It wasn't too painful, so I hope you liked it. So stop by the blog hop, and don't forget to leave your comments so you can have a chance to win a set of Pink by Design stamps and also a set of Emma's stamps from My Creative Time. It's a, um, a actually, it's a St. Patrick's Day stamp set so and I will be showcasing that one tomorrow so um, everybody have a good night and we'll see you then